Northrop Grumman is here today at the Chandler Science Spectacular where we hope to inspire the next generation of rocket scientists with exhibits just like this. The experiment that we're doing today is the free fall experiment. So we have a cotton ball and a rock. Same rock and the same cotton ball. We put them in here. And when we drop them, we drop them, we show them that the cotton ball and the rock, obviously the rock falls faster here. And then we can show them that in space, what should actually happen is that these two will fall at the same speed. They're actually going to fall at exactly the same speed. So we have a little tube over there. Two, one. Simulating space air and we drop both of them in that tube and then we can show them what would happen is that they actually hit the ground at the same time. I like volunteering at events like this to help inspire the next generation of rocket scientists. So we have a lot of booths set up here to hopefully inspire them. We have a static launch, we have gyroscopes. The thing I really like to talk to the kids about is this big inflatable back here, the NASA SLS rocket. I am here with Kimberly Barraza one of our mechanical engineers on our Omega rocket. Why did you come volunteer at the Science Spectacular? Um, so this is something that's really important to me. You know, there, an event like this never really existed when I was a kid. It sounds like a Star Wars blaster, huh? I think it's really important to get the kids involved. So the sound waves go right through the air. Teach them a little bit about rocket science and see that it's really not that hard. It's awesome that we have so many volunteers uh, sharing their knowledge with the kids on how to work with science, technology, engineering, art, and math. Do you smile? <laughs> uh, you hear rocket science, you think it's really difficult. It's really not that hard, and if it's something that you enjoy, something that you're passionate about, you're gonna have an easy time. For the kids. For the kids. <laughs>